I've had a lot of you youngins ask me about the Trayvon Martin and the George Zimmerman. Well, I'm going to give it to you, my opinion. My opinion is, you're a crime watch. You're not a goddamn cop. You aren't supposed to really carry a gun. A gun! A goddamn gun! You are supposed to observe! Observe! Observe means you see something going on! You call the goddamn police! That is their fucking job! Not his! I don't give a goddamn arrest ass on what's happening! I have kept my mouth shut! I have been listening! And I have been observing! And I have been thinking about this! And now it's time! A young man, 17 years old, is fucking dead! Big macho man! Go carry a gun! Scared for his life! If you were scared for your goddamn life, motherfucker, you shouldn't even have been out there! You should not even have been out there! You should have been home watching goddamn Disney! Or something you goddamn like! My heart goes out to his mom and dad. They're blaming... You know, what if it was the other way around? Maybe Trayvon saw the gun! Maybe Trayvon said, this motherfucker's gonna kill me. I gotta fight my way out of this. Nobody said that shit. It could have happened that way. Trayvon could have been fearing for his life and fought back. Now, they want to bring up the marijuana. Marijuana does not make you Go crazy. So don't hand me the shit about the goddamn marijuana and Trayvon Martin. On the other hand, Trayvon, you know, we weren't there. I wasn't there. I don't know what happened. But I know one thing. One goddamn thing that I can say more than anything else. I don't care who's right, who's wrong. They both could have been wrong. But there's one motherfucking problem. You should have left the goddamn gun at home, you son of a bitch! Or a 17 year old boy wouldn't be goddamn dead! You hear me? Goddamn! Take this goddamn Michael! Take it!